The holidays are here, and I like to make desserts that'll delight and impress my friends. So today, I'm making a decadent chocolate pomegranate tart. It's a layer of flaky chocolate dough with a velvety smooth chocolate ganache topped with pomegranate jewels on top. This one's a showstopper, and your friends are gonna think you spent all day in the kitchen, but it's actually so easy to make. Before we start, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Honeysuckle Catering and on Snapchat at Honeysuckle Bee to see my cooking adventures and what I'm testing. First, I'll start on my dough. In a medium bowl, I'll combine half a cup or a stick of melted butter, three tablespoons of granulated sugar, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'll mix it well until combined. Then I'll add in one cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of almond flour, and two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I'll mix it again until the dough forms into a nice ball. No equipment needed for this. I told you it's gonna be easy. I'm using a rectangular pan that I've already lined with parchment paper, and I'll just add my dough and press it into the pan like this. I'm pressing it by hand into an even layer, making sure it goes into every nook and cranny. I'll let the dough rest for 30 minutes in the fridge, and then I'll preheat my oven to 350 degrees. Once it's ready, I'll prick the dough with a fork several times. This is to release air when it bakes so it won't puff up. I'll bake it for 20 to 22 minutes until the dough is nice and golden brown. Then I'll pull it out and let it cool completely. In the meantime, I'll start working on my ganache filling. I'm gonna heat up one cup of heavy cream, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt into a medium saucepan. I'll cook it on medium heat just until it starts to boil, and then I'll take it off heat right away. I'll stir in three quarters of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate that I've already chopped into small pieces, three tablespoons of butter, and stir it just until it combines. It should be nice and glossy like this. Once the chocolate ganache comes together, I'll stir in a quarter cup of pomegranate arils. Now I'll fill the crust with the chocolate filling all the way to the top. I'll take another quarter cup of the pomegranate seeds and I'll just sprinkle it on top. Isn't it so beautiful already? Now the hardest part is letting it sit at room temperature for two hours before we cut it apart. Once the chocolate filling has firmed up, we can cut it into triangles and it's ready to serve. This chocolate pomegranate tart is gonna blow your mind with how good it is. Let me know if you try out the recipe and be sure to tag me in your photos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys for more holiday recipes. Bye!